Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this text intro animation thing. Very cool looking stuff, right? Let's get to it. Con effects on the toolbox effects, drag fusion comp to the timeline. Let's increase the size of this. Control D on the keyboard. Double click on 05, type 10 and change. Right click on it, open it in Fusion page. Okay. Now there are two things I want to bring in here first. I go to Media Pool. There are two images I have here. This is a wallpaper. This I got it from Pixabay. Here it is. Then there's this logo for DaVinci Resolve. This I made using that tutorial that I shared earlier about converting PNG to 3D. Link to that video in the description. For this tutorial, you will need to install Reactor and um, within Reactor, install Crocodove to get this tutorial going. Instructions on how to install Reactor also is in the same link for converting PNG to 3D. Towards the last part of the video, I discussed on how to install Reactor. This, I'm going to rename this to Logo. And um, this, I'm just going to label it um, back. Okay. Now, the size of this, if I move down here, you see the size here is 1920 by 1440. It should be 1920 by 1080 because I'm in an, on an HD project. So I'm going to go here, shift space bar, type resize. That's it. And add. And I'll drag this to this viewer. It resizes the image and scales it down to 1920 by 1080. Okay. Now let's start this. Bring in a text node. Let's type resolve here. Let's change this text to there's a particular nice text font I have here called unsteady over stare. There. I drag this to the left viewer. You see the font here. Let's close this media pool. Let's click on here, fit. So we see here, let's resize this, this font to 0 0.15. Okay. Now let's bring that here. And let's bring in three nodes from Crocodile. Shift, spacebar, S, trace, create, add. Shift, spacebar, S, write on, add. Shift, spacebar, S, render. Make sure it is this that you add not this S render. Add. Okay. Bring that here. Connect this to that. And we drag this to the right viewer. So we have this. See this red thing in the middle? We want to get rid of it. So we go to S trace create. Click on the shading tab. On tick brush enabled. That red thing disappears. But the thickness of this outline is too high. So I go to pen thickness. I reduce that to 0 0.2 and that's just fine. And um, then we go here, go to S right on, go to frame 20. We keyframe this. There we go to 100, frame 100. Keyframe that. Let's go to the first keyframe and drag this down. So we have, this is what we have going. Something like that. Cool. But I don't want it to be on a global scale. I want it to be element scale. So for each of the text, it's going to do the right on. So I'm going to click on here and play it again. And then you see this sweet looking thing. Simple. Very simply done. Let's go to spline. Select that. Z zone to fit. Select all the keyframes. Smoothen it out. Press T on the keyboard. Increase ease into 80. Something around 80 is fine. Close it. And then we're done with that. Let's make three other copies of this. So I right click on this. Copy. I click on here. I paste. I click on here. I paste. I click on here. I paste. Okay. So let's move this here. Let's move this here and let's move this here. Let's connect text to the second one. 
we go to S trace create. I want to create that dot in front of it that follows that movement. We go to S trace create, we go to shading. Now the thickness of the pen, I'm going to increase that to 0 0.75. And I'm going to go to write on, go to the last keyframe here. And this particular one here, this particular value for this one, I'm going to say 999. Enter. If I go to spline, just want to be sure the curve is all right. Zoom to fit so we see both of them on the same line. Good. Let's close spline editor. Let's do the same thing for this one. Go here. 999. Enter. Good. So now we bring in for the second one, let's bring in a glow node. Shoot spacebar glow. Then we bring in a merge node. We connect this to the foreground of the merge node and connect this to the background of the merge node. Let's drag this to the right viewer. If we play this now, you see we have that beautiful stuff. Great. But you'll notice that when we get to frame 100 and keep playing, that highlighted dot is still showing. We want it to fade off. So I'm going to go to frame 95, go to merge, create a keyframe, go to frame 105, and drag the blend to zero. I'm going to copy the same merge. I'm going to paste it here. The same glow. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. The reason why I keep copying and pasting, I could have just created this and pasted here, is each time I copy all of this and paste it, Resolve crashes for some funny reason. So I'm constrained to have to do it this way. So I'm going to connect this glow to the foreground of Merge 1. And um, now we bring this Resolve logo here and connect that to 2. Connect this here, connect this here. So now what we do is we bring in a trans, let's first bring in a merge node and connect both of them together. Sorry, there. And drag that to the viewer. You see the resolve logo is on top of resolve. And then if we drag this resolve logo to the side, to the left viewer, you see the rendering is not so good. So I'm gonna to go to S trace create for the resolve logo. I'm going to drag this threshold down till it covers the logo correctly. Something like this. So we have 0.37. So I'm going to go to this too. i set this to 0.37. Good. So now we have that resolve logo. So we want to move this resolve logo to this edge here. So I'm going to bring in a transform node between here. Drag this transform node in between here, drop it like that. Let's do this, drag that up. So I'm going to move the result logo down here, something like that. Okay. Now I want to give this a certain color. So I'm going to go to S trace create and change the color of this to something bluish, but not quite blue, something like that. Then I'm going to go to this too, I'm going to change this color to the same color I did just now, something like that. And um, for this logo color, I want to make it reddish hue. So I'm going to go here and pick something like this and just copy this. Okay, and click on here, shading, and um, paste the same value for the second S trace create. Okay, so we have this. Now let's bring this background I have here. Bring that down here. Let me just arrange it properly. Move we'll both of them up here. Now let's connect. Let's bring a merge node. Let's connect this to the foreground and connect this to the background. Okay, let's drag that here. And then we have this, but I don't like, this is too, too garish. So I'm going to go here, shift space bar, add a color corrector node, this, add that here. 
Now I'm going to drop the saturation a wee bit, something like that. Then increase the contrast a whole lot. Something like that. And again, drop it a little bit. Yeah. And then for the whole thing, I want the whole thing to glow a little. So I'm going to go here, pull this forward a bit. Then click on here. I'm going to pull it. Shift space bar, soft glow. So we have that. I'm not even going to adjust anything here. It's just this nice, subtle, soft glow. All I can do is increase the glow size a little bit. That's all. Something a little bit. Okay. So there it is, guys. Now I want to change this. I want this to eventually fade into the actual logo that I have originally. So I'm going to copy this logo. Copy this. Let's paste this here. And copy it. I don't think it paste. Copy it. Copy this. Paste. Go down to this transform I have here. I'm going to copy it to and paste it here. So I have the same position here. I go connect this to that and now connect this to this. So when we view this, we see the logo here. So what I'll do is I'll go here and um, at around this point, I want this to be zero. Click on here. Then I want it to now change to the full logo in 10 frames. So if we now go here and connect this to media out, drag media out here, make this a single viewer, play this out. The one thing that I haven't done is the dot for this one has not, I've not increased the size. So I'm going to go to this S trace create, go to the pen thickness for the second one and make it 0.75. Okay. So let's see how that goes. So we go to the beginning. Let's play it again. And one other thing that I want to, okay, it's fine. Let's, let's keep going. This here is just a little glitch I could eliminate, but let's just move on. And then we have this going. So I'll let it get to like 110 just to see the dots fade off. And this convert to the actual logo. Okay, so there we go. If we go here and play it back and beautiful stuff. So guys, that's it. That's basically it guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you learned one or two things. Very easy to do, straightforward stuff. See you on the next one, guys. Cheers.